Hello everyone, welcome back to Crossword. Today is Thursday, January 11th. Let's get started. Talk, talk, talk is to yap or yak? Crumpled mess? Well, a sty? Uh, crumpled mass, actually. Huh, I don't know. Subject of a landmark 2012 Supreme Court decision for short. That must be the American Care Act? Quick blow? Quick blow. I don't know. I don't know any skaters. Except Ono Apollo. Apollo Ono? I forget. Apollo Ono. <laughs> and like, I don't know, other stuff from back in the 80s and early 90s, right? But desk jarful. Do you have a jar full of at your desk? Some people keep a candy jar. You could have a jar of paper clips. Pens? Jar of pens, sure. Kind of palm. Is an Asai a kind of palm tree? Maybe. Engine sound. Brum, 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 brum. I don't know. You sure about that? Don't know. Cause of irritated eyes. Bad visuals. Feeling the effects of a tough workout. You are sore or achy. Editor's concern, not sure. Nothing in Latin, don't know. Good thing to map out before a risky endeavor. How about an exit something, maybe? Escape plan? Escape route? You sure about that? Oh, is it? Oh, like Ni Nihil? Like, maybe? And then we get achy after all. Editors care about style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this, I, I thought it was because of like ex-Nilo something. W from, from nothing. Ex-Nilo Falsum? Ex I don't remember exactly. Catch dead to rights. You nail someone if you catch them dead to rights. One out of a hundred percent. In it's a two schools in the Missouri Valley Conference. Beats me. Alleviated. Uh, relieved. Assuaged. Many lovers, e.g. something people. I'll give us a piano here. One out of three for a grand, a piano key. Okay, so let's say it's people. How something can be torn in half. Colloquially. Happy, nope, hoppy medium. Ale? You wouldn't usually call ale a medium, but maybe. Maybe no. P pianos have more than three keys. <laughs> uh, they only have one, uh, three legs though. Piano ale. Top forty genre emo pop. Let's say pop. Since like everything in the top forty will be popular, sort of by definition. Ginormous, huge, vast. Maybe also alternative genre. Emo ska. Steinbeck title starter. I don't know. What is this down here? Steinbeck title ender. Ears of pigs. Company whose workers may sleep on the job. You think maybe, oh, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I think they're looking for Serta here, a mattress company, which gives us East of Eden. I don't know anything about East of Eden. I know it is a, you know, fictional property. Is it a Steinbeck book? I don't know. Possible. But with the Serta thing, I think East is good enough to get me to put that in. 
Mayim, Mayim, Mayim of Entertainment. Uh, boy, this is a lot of letters for a, like a person's first name or something. Or last name. I don't know which Mayim is. Skincare product. Probably not toner. Tanning lotion. Battery part anode. Office newbie is a, a new hire. It's a, somebody green there. The new guy. A hiree? Third in a group of eight. Ooh, what are there eight of? Muses? I don't I don't know how many muses there are, and I couldn't name the third one anyway. I'm sure it'll be something more widely known. Japanese beer. There's like one you're always supposed to remember. It's got A's in it or something. Like an accompaniment accomplishment worthy of Guinness. Biggest most beer drunk. World record. Pop. Dunno. Card game similar to Crazy Eights. Uno. So let me let me just go on a little little side note about Uno here. It's so popular on social media to like I don't know. People have all these wacky house rules for Uno, right? And you know, there there are numerous social media accounts of you know the official Hasbro or whoever owns Uno account saying, actually, that's not in the rules. And people say, like, screw you. And like, it's all in good fun. But like, I don't know, like, who was getting the rules of Uno passed down to them by word of mouth. When I was growing up, we played by the rules in the book. There was none of this shit about playing a, a draw two on top of another draw two to not draw and make your left-hand opponent draw four instead. It's like, if you got a draw two played on you, you didn't get your turn and you drew two cards. I don't know, man. It's like Monopoly and the free parking money thing. When I was growing up, we didn't put money on free parking. Now, we did, just like everyone else in the world, not play with auctions. Uh, even though, like, arguably, I have heard, the point of the auctions being there is to make the game end more quickly, and then the game goes on forever when you don't play with them and people get mad. But, like, putting all the fees on free parking really makes the game go on forever. And I, I you know, in my house, we didn't play with that. But I had a friend... And at their house, like, we did put money on free parking. And I don't know, I you know, where where he got that rule from. I feel like his mom told us about that, but I, I don't know. Anyway, just a little aside there. Skincare product, maybe use a tonic? I don't know about that. Common name starter in pop? Uh, okay, well, maybe it's rap, because there's a lot of rappers whose name starts with Lil. Lead in to port or pad, heli pad, heli port, I guess. Instrument notably featured in George Michael's 1984 hit Careless Whisper. I don't know. I've never heard of this song. I imagine I would recognize it if you played it, but I don't know what it is. Like, anything that's in the crossword usually is popular enough that even if you don't know what it is, you're like, you might recognize it. That's the only reason I say I would probably recognize this if you played it, but I, I have no idea what that is. Drew forcibly from, okay, well, this is probably ED. It's not evicted, it's hmm. way down in the nether regions in hell. Some in hell, hmm. What is a way down in hell? I don't know. Word said while pointing. There. Is it really toner? I'm aware of toner as a printer fluid. 
I'm not aware of it as a skincare product. It must be a different thing. You wouldn't put printer toner on your face. But maybe there is a different thing called toner that you use on your skin. From memory only, rote maybe? D-backs on scoreboards. Well, the Diamondbacks are an Arizona team. Um, try to see. Look, peer, try to see. Hmm. Part of a Florida flock. What is there a famous flock of in Florida? I don't know. One joining a union. A bride is for joining a union, a marriage. 48 down members often. Bored, maybe? Hallelujah, sing Hall Hallelujah singers are a choir. So probably not bored. Robed. You would wear a robe to sing in a choir. Way down in the nether regions. Ibic, ibix, ibex. That's a kind of bird. Eagerly takes advantage of. Is it ibis? I can never keep those straight. Something's in, right? Or on? Whip it band. Oh, I don't know. D D Devo, Devo, I do know. Something's on. I don't know. How about this? Like an accompaniment worthy of Guinness. Something ends with Tive. Superlative. The mostest, the bestest, the estest. Try to see. Oh, we have an O now, huh? You might woo someone if you're trying to see them romantically. If you're on something, you're atop it. What am I doing? Drew forcibly from. It's not like tra exacted, you exacted vengeance by, from someone by drawing it from them. Well, an instrument that's three letters ends with S, that's gotta be sax. September 1st, 1939, poet beats me. Non-GMO must be on organic foods. Pop is soda. Groups of hands, I don't know. Ginormous, maybe it is just huge. Still don't know this poet. Mast goon? <laughs> I don't know. Book of Mary beats me. There, obviously, there's like it's it's Thursday. There's some kind of theme going on here with all the clues that have stars in them, but I haven't figured any of them out yet, so I'm not not really getting it yet. Guiding principles are your ethos or your ethic, either way. Flower girl. Rose is a girl with the same name as a flower. Swell. Sweet. No, if you're full of cargo, you are laden. Brazilian? What does this have to do with a way? I get that like there's a Brazilian wax related to the nether regions. Why is this a way? Hmm. I think it must be. You take advantage of something eagerly, you seize on it. Yeah, that makes sense. Hopping mad if you're irate. Muhammad's third and youngest wife. Aisha? Beats me. 
See, sometimes called the buckle of the Bible belt. Starts with W, four letters. Is it Waco? It's the only one I can think of. The only city anywhere I can think of with that profile. It, whether it's the buckle of the Bible belt or not, I don't know. Swell could be Nito. We get Ethic, by the way. Tool set is a kit. Basic linear expression with a hint to answering the five starred clues in this puzzle. Well, it's nice to know there is a revealer for this. I don't understand it yet. Mess with. Don't know. How peers should be treated. What? Three letters? Superman, supervillain Luther is Lex Luther, surely. Linear expression. Oh, peers should be treated as equals. And if y equals x, that would be a linear expression. Actually, you know what? Let's see if they'll let me get away with just putting an equal sign in there. Is this Das Kapital? There's no Y or X in there. Ah, but Mary has a Y in it, and if we meant to interpret that as X, we would see Book of Marks, and that would be Das Kapital, I guess. To mess with is to toy with. So this is now Wax down in the nether regions. Okay, got it. Maxim of Entertainment. The show must go on. Uden? No, this isn't huge. It's Auden. Well. Oh, this was GMO, right. So, ginormous could be Giga? Or Mega, actually. Yeah, and Emo can still fit. Groups of hands? Crews, a crew has hands, like a stage hand, for example. Manx lovers are cat people. How something can be torn asunder. Whoops. Third in a group of eight. Oh, eight planets? Oh, gets me right in the heart. Poor Pluto. Crosswords are for young people who never grew up thinking Pluto was a planet. <laughs> Japanese love, uh, not lover, beer. Um, Asahi? Alleviated is eased, yeah. CDD? Must not be percent. Still don't know this play right. Okay, so what about this? Cause of irritated exes. Drunk dials? <laughs> Fits, actually. I don't know. Crumpled mass. Reindeer in Frozen. Oh, no. I've never seen Frozen. I know Elsa's in it. Her sister is Anna? And there's Olaf. Is he a snowman or a duke or something? I don't know anything about the reindeer. Italian time unit. They probably want an aura. An hour. Finnish tech giant, Nokia. Medieval competition, a joust? Not sure about that one. Boost. A boost, you could say if you're giving someone a boost, you're giving them a leg up, but that doesn't fit very well with the crosses. Initials of two schools in the Missouri Valley Conference. Indiana State University and Illinois State University? They're nearby. And they're, are they in Missouri Valley? I don't know. Don't think so. Uh, but U shows up a lot in schools, so I'm happy enough with it. And something up? And in sound, oh, it is vroom, vroom, vroom. You just gotta write in the O's. Uh, to boost is to amp up. 
A bad breakup would be a cause for an irritated ex. Ibsen, that's the name of a, an author of some kind. Red, Rudd. One out of a hundred. Still don't know. Crumpled mass or oh, wad. Ah. And it's not to yap or to yak, it's to to jaw. And then we get jab, which is not as stupid as yab. Sonja? Looks like Sonja. Sven. One out of a hundred. What? Are the hundred sins? No, wait, abbreviation. Oh, a senator. Hey, got there. Okay, the theme was cute. Because I really, until I got to the revealer, I had no idea what they were asking for. And then once I did, it was like, oh yeah, these are all easy. Uh, you know, I couldn't have answered this from nothing, but with all the crosses I had for it, finally seeing this was enough. And it, it was happy with the equal sign. I assume if I had written equals there, it would have also been fine. Like the letters E-Q-U-A-L-S. Dream outfit for short? Don't know. Your underwear, right? <laughs> Sometimes it hurts. The truth. Juliet's lover, Romeo. My money would be, I'd bet? What a name for our son, Sol. Pokes? Prods? Jumbo? Oh, okay. So I was thinking that you, in your dreams, you find yourself in your underwear having to give a speech or something, right? I don't have that dream. Um, but it's, you know, a classic one in the in the culture. But they're talking about the outfit you're wearing when you dream. Fair enough. I did figure out the spelling bee for yesterday. I didn't get it on camera. But I think I did look at it on camera. And then anyway, I opened it again later that day and I was like, oh, it's rhythmic. So just like, I don't know, not peaking, for example. Just sometimes you're in the right state of mind to see the answer and sometimes you're not. Fresh. Let's try fresh today. Pretty good. Brief. It's the second one in not very long that I've gotten on my second guess. I got another one just the other day, didn't I? I don't remember what it was, but... Where's connections? There it is. Our last puzzle for the day. Fat kind of has to be slang for good. It doesn't mean anything else. I see great and solid and legend and fish. So maybe there's this kind of PH words. Why is that an interesting group though? It's not like meaningful enough. Hmm. Plasma, gas, solid, liquid, right? The states of matter. This must be a group. What does sales have to do with any of this? A hero, a legend, an icon, and a great are all like... What's a word you would use to describe these that isn't just one of these things? They're, you know, an epic of legend? <laughs> uh, an all-timer, sure. So if I think fat, few, filly, and fish are a group, what do these... These are all pitches. Sales pitch, fever pitch, elevator pitch, perfect pitch. Is this really just words that start with PH? That does not make much sense. PH words that also work with F. Fat, few, filly, fish. Okay. Yeah, I saw a couple of these and I was like, oh, okay, you know, fat, you could have an F. Fish, 
Yeah, sure. I didn't occur to me that you could do these as well. They mean different things. Whereas here, like, I don't know. Anyway, I'll take these. And I solved them in perfect difficulty order. Look at me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.